Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Actually, it's just more of a uh, discussion on a new finding from uh, this brand or company called Valisher LLC. They've done all these testings. They're the one that found the um, benzene in the sunscreens. They also found um, it was cancer causing ingredient in um, a generic Zantac called Rantadine, which is actually exactly one of the ones I had taken for a while. So um, anyway, so I can't afford any more exposure to uh, contaminants. So anyway, so this came out and I'll link to it below. Um, high levels of cancer causing chemical benzene were found in various benzoyl peroxide acne products from major brands. And there's a whole list of them. And we know benzene is a carcinogen. There's really no safe level. You don't want any exposure to it. I think uh, typically the safety amounts they say for exposure by day is, I believe, um, what do they say? Two million, two parts per million exposure per day. Um, so, so let's see. Okay, so they say Valisher, this company is amazing. What they're doing, it's amazing. Brands should be doing this. The FDA should be doing this. Someone should be doing this. Instead, it's this LLC. I don't know how they afford to do all this, but it's amazing. I'd love to donate to them if it's possible. Um, so they say Valisure tech, tech tested 66 benzoyl peroxide products, including creams, lotions, gels, washes. They're available over the counter. Um, so currently, the FDA allows up to two parts per million of benzene exposure uh, per day, but there's really you don't want any exposure to it. It's not a good thing. Um, and Valisure found these acne products contain some of them up to 12 times amount that amount. Um, and additionally, the parts per million of benzene significantly increased when the acne products were tested at higher temperatures. Um, so some of the some of the affected products, and if you have any benzoyl peroxide products, check them out. Seriously, um, Proactive, Up and Up, which I think is the Target brand, Walgreens, 10% uh, benzoyl peroxide bar. Harris, I'd never heard of this brand, 10% benzoyl peroxide wash. Clinique, 2.5% benzoyl peroxide cream. Clarisil, cream. La Roche-Posay, 5.5% benzoyl peroxide cream. Panoxyl, 10% benzoyl peroxide cream. Sandra Lee, MD. Is that Dr. Pimple Popper? I kind of, I'm thinking it is. Uh, so she's got a brand. I think it's sold at Target. That one is exposed. Oxy, 10%, Galderma, uh, Equate, the Walmart brand, Differin, CeraVe, Sandoz, Taro, Neutrogena, and more. There's a whole list of them. Um, it's interesting. We see a few that cross between having it in their sunscreens and having it in this product. However, um, this isn't the same type of issue. The one in the uh, sunscreens is actually contaminated. This one's a little different situation. Um, so let's see. So they say here it is not contamination. Rather, benzoyl peroxide breaks down into benzene, stimulated to do so by the formation of the product themselves. What's concerned is nearly all benzoyl peroxide containing products tested and form benzene, even the new triple combination topical, often at levels two to one hundred or two to one thousand times higher than the emergency conditional FDA limit of two million parts per million. Uh, so it sounds like the product's breaking down, which is, I've reviewed some benzoyl peroxide products. I'm, it can work for some acne very well. I think it's, I don't think it's the best ingredient for our skin. I'd probably recommend trying other things first, but um, anyway, so they say the benzoyl peroxide breaks down into benzene. It was ex accelerated by exposure to elevated temperatures, such as a hot bathroom how many people would store theirs in their bathroom cabinet or their car? I mean, if you're driving around and you've got your makeup bag or skincare bag sitting in your car or traveling, um, that uh, means meaning that patients and consumers must be mindful how to store their benzoyl peroxide containing products. Definitely not in a car uh, or a bathroom. And even more concerning, benzoyl peroxide breaks down to benzene. The gas form of benzene was found to penetrate through sealed packaging at levels nearly 1,000 times higher than the EPA lifetime exposure, which is 0.4 parts per billion, which I have a bad feeling taking that Zantac generic product. I have a bad feeling about that for myself, but there's nothing I can do about it now except try and mitigate it. Um, so if you have benzoyl peroxide and you use them, don't keep them in your bathroom, don't keep them in your car. 
keep them somewhere where it's mild and moderate temperature. Um, and then benzoyl peroxide containing acne products unsuspectedly are also at an inhale, inhalation risk. So if it's kept in a package, like a plastic package, uh, apparently the gas form can penetrate that. That's freaky. So definitely uh, be cautious of it. Uh, so a dermatol uh, dermatologist, uh, dermatologist uh, mentioned, uh, they point out that benzene is equivalent to asbestos, lead, and formaldehyde as a group one carcinogen. Nobody wants to be around the first two, and the latter is going to be banned by the FDA apparently next month. Why isn't the FDA or somebody on top of this? Some some brand on top of this? I, it's a little scary that we have to rely. I mean, just I just wonder what else is going on that we don't know about. You know what I mean? So uh, especially like the sunscreen thing, we're putting on our kids, uh, ourselves, and you know, and spray cans or oils, and maybe around our face. I mean, could go into our mouth, could be inhaled. Um, it's it's scary. So. Um, okay, so uh, so somebody wrote, in response to the news, they want to reiterate, first and foremost, there is not a safe level of benzene that can exist in any skincare product, over-the-counter or prescription. Benzene is highly carcinogenic, uh, and we've recently seen the FDA agree with this position by taking action to ensure removal of carbomers contaminated with benzene and from manufacturing. So I don't know what took the FDA so long. You know what? They suck at everything they seem to do well, when it comes to skincare. It seems like they suck. I mean, they haven't really done anything with sunscreen. So, uh, anyway, so they're getting on top of it years later. Uh, so I just wonder how many other, you know, young people or teens might be using something and might, you know what so many people probably have it in their cabinet will never hear about this. That's the scarier thing, especially the sunscreen thing. I mean, how many people have it and are bought them on sale and, Bought multiple cans of it, carried around with them, are still using it today. I guarantee there are, and they don't even know. They don't know any better because how does this news reach everybody? It's it gets rele relegated more to skincare. It might be in a few papers for a few days, and then we'll never hear about it again. So, um, okay. So again, they reiterate the benzene we found in sunscreens and other products were impurities that came from contaminated ingredients, which is again a brand quality issue. However, the benzene and benzoyl peroxide is coming from the benzoyl peroxide itself. So I know I did a video on benzoyl peroxide product I reviewed a few months ago, and uh, I reiterated I was not a huge fan of that ingredient. And a lot of people, well, not a lot, a few people were like, no, you're totally wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm, I'm just not a big fan of this ingredient. I just think my bigger excuse, my bigger thought was it's more pro-aging as an ingredient. Uh, and then it's not surprising to me that, again, it's not a great ingredient and uh, expiration dates, how you store it, the brands you choose, all factor into it because there's a lot of brands involved. So I'll link to this below, leave your thoughts and comments. Hopefully this will get out to people that are using it. You don't want it, especially with the topical skincare you could be probably using on your face and it's around your eyes, your nose, your mouth. And if it can be in a gas form, you're inhaling it, might be swallowing it, might be getting smearing into your eyes. So be very careful. You don't want any benzene. It's not good. I think it's a, I think typically it's a, it's a lot of times like in gasoline as an off gas a little bit. So you don't want any, any exposure to it as little as you can. So anyway, uh, leave your thoughts and comments. I'm sure you have a lot of them and I will see you guys more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye guys.